Good evening YouTube, I hope everyone's alright, I've had a really good day today. Um, this is just a quick video, just to talk about a couple of things. Arteta, what he's been saying in his press conference, a Bamiyan contract, and obviously just a little bit about the transfers and the board. If you want to hear all that and more, then please do subscribe, it's really easy, just click on the bell, hit the notifications, and do a thumbs up please, that will really, really help. Comments below are also helpful. I will definitely respond to all of them. Anyway, back to why I'm doing a video. So, firstly, Arteta's had his press conference about the Crystal Palace game. Um, by the way, I'm going to do a video for a preview for that. That'll be out tomorrow in the daytime, probably uh, mid-afternoon, so look out for that. He was basically asked mainly about Aubameyang. Obviously, Aubameyang in, his previous, uh, in the previous game, which he didn't play, was against Leeds. He quashed all rumours saying that he... Is staying at Arsenal. He's happy. He's committed to fight for trophies and everything, and that. But he said, "I'm staying for now." And that, for me, that can mean a lot of things for now, or until the summer, or until the end of this month. I mean, because that goes on to when Arteta was asked about his uh, contract, whether he's uh, any negotiations have started, and Arteta said nothing's happened, and that there, there, nothing, no contract extensions being talked about so for me that thinks words are great but until it's you know signed on the dotted line that he's extended then do you I, I don't I don't know if I believe Aubameyang or Arteta because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes Arteta's saying all the right things but Aubameyang you know he wants to win trophies I get that that's understandable He's nearly 31, or well, he'd be 31, I believe, in June. And I'm sure that he wants to better himself, which is normal, doesn't everyone? But if him saying those comments and not signing the contract, where do we stand? Because Vinay and Raul, the guys in charge of running the show, under Stan and Josh, said that it, if a player enters the last two years of his contract, he's either sold or he re-signs. Another thing, why, so why is abamian has got 18 months or so left on his contract? And they're saying, oh, possibly we'll, you know, we, we, we can be more nice and gentle with him because, you know, he, he, he is our club captain. And no, if, if he's not signing, that means from the summer, he can run in the last year of his contract and then he can start. Uh, thinking about leaving for free the following summer where we could get at least probably 70 80 million for him now easily golden boot winner last year and he obviously is banging in the goals and in the last few games showing another side working really really hard but nobody is bigger than the club nobody so it's a hard one because well i don't know leave comments and you leave your comments below but for me i want i would i would want him to sign now because if you leave it to the summer, that's when people like his agent will be thinking, oh, listen, don't sign now because guess, you know, next January you can start talking to other clubs for free and big signing on fee. And of course, it's his last big payday because, you know, in three or four years, it's obviously going to hang up his boots maybe sooner. Because don't forget, Aubameyang relies on speed. So he, you know, is... It's great what we've heard from Aubameyang, but you know we all want to hear that and see that he signed on the dotted line. So, at the moment, I'm not seeing Edu or Vinay backing up their words because I believe Lacazette is in the last two years of his contract. I know this is controversial, but it was me. I, I'm he works so hard, but that's that's for another video. I'll cash in on him, but that's for another thing. But just leave in the comments below what you think about Aubameyang. Do you, uh, would you cash in on him now? or would you, um, Obviously, would you like to see him signed up or run the risk of weighing it till the summer and let those negotiations or whatever behind the scenes get going? But um, for me, I'd, I'd love to keep Aubameyang and just hear that he's signed. But let me know your thoughts. Um, have a wonderful evening and... Um, I will be dropping another video tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye.